Hello everyone, DJ Aaron here. I said I was going to do a update on my MacBook Pro and I'm actually going to do that said update right now. Um, a while back, you guys probably noticed I had Mavericks on the MacBook Pro. That is no longer on there anymore and uh, I have uh, El Capitan now. El Capitan has been actually running very smooth and uh, it has been running very good as well. So the one thing you guys probably notice, uh, where is the Windows computer? Well the last time I showed you guys on video, uh, the Windows computer has basically kicked the bucket and uh, is basically uh, no more. So uh, I'm going to give you guys a little walkthrough of what I use, uh, especially on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's being uh, doing things for product productivity or uh, just doing uh, live stream in general. So down here on my dock, I have quite a bit of applications that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And the best way you can get to these applications as well is by the uh, launch pad. I do have, uh, instead of like viewing them down on the dock, I'm just going to do this in, um, should I say, a launch pad. I have Safari, I have mail, you know, messages, contacts, calendar, reminders, uh, notes. Uh, FaceTime, fo photo booth, uh, iTunes, App Store. You know, I have a whole bunch of applications. I even have, uh, I even have uh, Gold Pin Bowling. I have uh, Flash Media Live Encoder as well. And then on the next page, I have Discord, GarageBand, iMovie, but Broadcasting Tour and our <laughs> Broadcasting Tool and team viewer. So we get out of uh, launch pad we hit the launch pad button again or we could just click anywhere and it will get us out of it and uh, I do use quite a bit of uh, applications like I'm saying uh, for live streaming I also use Mix Vibes which is the program I'm opening now just so you guys know, this is a DJ program, DJ software for Macintosh and Windows, but I kind of prefer the Macintosh version over Windows because the fact that I can actually load songs in quicker and get them played on the show, especially song requests as well, you guys kind of get the idea. At some point, I will probably end up doing a video on Mix Vibes and, uh, you know, kind of a step by step thing like I did with Virtual DJ. I mean, all software isn't different, or is pretty different. Uh, not, not everything is the same. Um, it just basically all depends on your personal preference. Now, when you close it out, it does take a little bit of time to close out. Uh, I also use Flash Media Live Encoder. The reason why the little uh, little splash thing doesn't come up is because the fact that uh, it doesn't do that. So there's me. You can see me. Uh, this is what I use on the show on a day-to-day uh, -day basis. The windows are pretty smooth. Every once in a while they'll, they'll jitter. But, for the most part, the windows are very smooth. So when you think about it, this thing does have NVIDIA graphics. It has the uh, let's see, let's go about this Mac. And it has the 
uh, should I say, the NVIDIA GeForce 8600MGT, 256 megabytes of onboard video RAM. Display, we just have the built-in uh, display with the NVIDIA graphics. And we have storage, which is not too bad. I'm using quite a bit for apps. 14 point, I believe it's 14.76 gigabytes of app that is taken up to hard disk at this point. It's not a major, uh, it is not a major thing, but it, you know, it, apps really don't take up that much space on the Mac unless they get updated or something. Uh, memory, I have four gigabytes of, of uh, DDR2 RAM, two gigabyte sticks in both slots, so that's good. Support is, you know, this machine is old, so uh, you ain't going to get much support out of it other than OS support. That's about it, but um, this thing runs pretty smooth. I'm very happy with it, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really good. I got other apps like uh, Audacity for audio editing and stuff like that. There's Audacity. So everything that I can do on Windows, I can do on a Mac. And of course, you guys might say, oh, why, uh, why are you doing a lot of things on a Mac? Why don't you just get Windows? Well, here's the thing. I could go with Windows 10, or I could uh, keep using a Macintosh. I'd rather choose to keep using a Mac because... You know, to me, a Mac is more valuable than a Windows computer. Just saying. It's a little bit more valuable. Um, waiting on iMovie. There it is. So it does take a little bit of time to load. Uh, to get everything loaded. It does show the beach ball of death sometimes, but it, it works. Uh... Some people probably think, oh, you're using uh, an older machine and you're using the latest version of stuff. Well, yeah, I'm using the latest version of stuff. And I'm also keeping up to date current with the software. Got to kind of have to, you know. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is GarageBand. So I'm going to open up GarageBand now. You can kind of see things on the dock but not really because the dock is pretty small uh, I kind of did that because I like a little more screen real estate besides um, having you know other things there's GarageBand and, and the thing is GarageBand is free in the Apple App Store so you can you know do all these different things like um, here, I'll turn up the volume a little bit here. Uh, yeah, see, so you can use your keyboard on GarageBand. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long, otherwise I'd be, uh, I'd be uh, playing with GarageBand all day. So... Anyways, guys, that is kind of it for this video. Peace out. Practice and enjoy. Just kind of giving you guys a little bit of an update on how things are going with the MacBook Pro and stuff like that. So anyways, that is it for this video. Peace out and practice and enjoy.